But if you close your eyes Hello awesome people, welcome back to Airport CEO. Now, last episode we set up the layout for the runways uh, for the departure and uh, for sorry, for the arrival and for the departure one. Um, for the actual commercial air uh, air flights, so we have this uh, entirely set up, but we also had a problem. Um, these guys, they have these uh, these uh, these marks above them, and the thing is, it says holding point not found, right click, uh, blah blah blah, to set set a holding point. We have set a lot of holding points there. Uh, I've tried some stuff with setting holding points here and there, uh, deleting the holding points, but it doesn't work. And it does seem to work for the new planes coming in. See, there's no problem. They will go out at some point. But all these guys blinking, they don't react. And I try to reload the game. Uh, nothing nothing works. I try to reset the aircraft path. Like, if you press F10, uh, you can actually get this debug menu. Uh, I try to, you know, reset aircraft paths. Go back and nothing happens. So, th that's, that's a problem. And this is also a problem, by the way. That the sort of text stays there but this is a problem um, not only is this tanking a lot of, mo of our money because all these things are now unusable and we can't get any money for them um, it also means that it's, it's the, the game is just not working for now um, which is sad because this is the first time I've actually seen this from the game I've never seen this before so if this is not working out we might demolish this and build a new one um, but in order to do so, we need money. So this this just make this uh, series a lot harder than was actually thought. So we need to see what will happen. But for now, let's go back to our commercial air flights. Um, we have everything in place to actually start getting some contracts in. So we have these uh, two small small stands, uh, just grass. We're gonna upgrade them later on, but we need the money for now. We have the uh, let's let's get the light here. We have the runways, like I said, arrival, departure. Um, and what will happen here is we will uh, we will set up we will pause the game and we will start setting up some stuff uh, to actually have. So what, we actually don't have to build a lot of things. Um, we could go for some gate seating. We could go small size or a double one. Uh, let's go for double ones because that's just uh, way easier for now. Item position is not valid. Why not? Oh, because it's in the in the way of the of the. Um, the desk yeah okay so sure that's that's not a problem let's put one here and put one there uh so these are small stands they don't need a lot of room yeah that should be sufficient and um you know what no actually let, let's add some more uh let's add some like right here in front of the uh the waiting area here so that people actually have a place to wait for security and for the uh check-in desk um, we're not gonna have an info desk. We don't really need that right now. This is gonna be the baggage claim area at some point. We have an exit. We have the boarding desk. We have security. So I think we have everything ready to actually start hiring some people. Do we have everything here? Yeah, it does seem that we have everything here. Do we have some construction workers? Uh, we have 88 con contractors. So we have to dismiss like, um, we only need like 10, I guess. So let's dismiss 78 guys. That will leave us with 10. And now let's go to staff. This will cost us a lot of money, by the way. <laughs> let's go for staff. Let's view applicants. And let's go for uh, the normal stuff. So let's just go for... Let's let's do two ramp agents. I think that should be sufficient. Don't take the, uh, the uh, highest wage ones. Doesn't really matter for now. Service technician. This, these are the guys that actually fix stuff in your airport. Uh, make sure that everything is working well. Um, I think we should go with... You know what? That's totally fine. It's a small airport for now, so we can do with a one and a slightly less good one. Uh, janitors, let's hire like two, I guess. Let's go for this like six point nine and well, two. That she's probably really bad. So let's go for the eight point four then. Um, we need them to really work, not just be there. So security. So we need four in these, uh, one in these. So we need five. Whoops. We need um five ones in total we have five so let's just hire them all uh and we need airport staff so we need why is it doing that okay we need airport staff which means we need like at least 
I would say at least four. Let's hire all five for now. So we are so we know for sure that we can handle all the the passengers. Um, economy. The thing is, what, what we also want is we, especially now we don't generate money from this part of the airfield. We probably want to go for uh, the shops. So we need procure, procurement and strategy director for that. Um, staff. Let's go procurement. View applicants. Just take the the cheapest one. And HR director. No, what, no, wait. It was strategy director. Sorry. Uh, take the cheapest one. And yeah, this is gonna tank us from a lot of money. But what we can do now is get a shop upgrade and a food franchise upgrade, which will generate a lot of money for us. So we don't need any of the other vehicles for now. And let's move on. Um, we need to sign a contract. That's another thing we should do. Let's just unpause the game for now. Uh, contracts, we need uh, some airplanes to come in. Um, so, that's actually, that's my dog barking, sorry. So there's a lot of new, there's a lot of new stuff in here. Um, let's pause it for a while. Fly Penguin, that's a new one. Five daily medium class flights. Okay, uh, no, we don't have medium flights. Zoom. Medium class flights. Am I missing something? Requirements fulfilled. So it says that we have the requirements fulfilled to actually take the contract on, but uh, atom error, medium class flights. Why is it only medium class? Medium class. We don't have any Airstrada, medium class. Where can I see that? Normally it would say like cheap or whatever, and you could see like if it was medium class or not. We need small, small. Hmm. Requiring a medium stand, yeah, maybe. So this must have been implemented since I tested the game before I started the series because I couldn't get any medium flights in before when I tested this and now there's only medium flights. Awesome. So what we could do is maybe these ones are like small flights, medium class. It's all medium class, why? We don't have any, we don't have any medium. <sighs> okay, well, this is getting quite annoying. Uh, Skyfly air, medium class. You know what, let's sign this one. And we're just gonna take and see, maybe, maybe we can still do this, I guess not. Skyfly, it's, no, we need a medium stand. We really need a medium stand. So what we could do, is we have some money left and we could take a huge risk and just go for a medium stand here. Um, then again, we also need to use our, we also need to use these. So, Wildcat error, medium class, <sighs> medium class, medium class. So it doesn't seem that you can't, can get any small class airplanes anymore. Medium class. Light, I like class. Okay, that, that's that's nice. Five daily light class. So let's take that one. Um, I think we can have two of those. So let's find another one. Medium class. Zoom. Medium class. There are a lot, a lot of new airlines in, which is really cool. Uh, medium class. Medium class. Uh, where were we? Here. Medium class. I, I prefer daily flights, so you don't have to check as much on the schedule. Uh, okay, air. That's why I'm clicking only on these with the multiple airplanes. Medium class, light class. Okay, let's let's send two of these, and let's get out of the contract with the other one. Um, where is accepted contracts? Uh, Skylink is light class. Stripe Air was light class, right? Yeah. So we need to delete this one. This was the medium class. We are gonna build a medium air uh, air stand, but not for now. So let's just put these in. So you. You're gonna get in and we need to go to the next day. Uh, wait, it's Friday, so Saturday we can go to Saturday. Let's confirm five o'clock and that means that you can come in at like 5.30, I guess. That should be easy because it's only small class. So we need to find more of these right now. Um, offered. So Flight Penguin, hmm. 
It's all medium class. Let's start on the bottom because we already seen these. Uh, Crown Airlines. Medium. Medium. I wish there was an easier way to check. Normally you could see if this, these were medium or light class. But they, uh, they changed that since they are going to get a new contract system. It seems. Um, medium class. Medium class, medium class, medium class. Jesus, okay, this is not gonna work. We need a medium airfield. Yeah, okay, let's check some of these. Is this uh, light class? So let's sign you with seven flights. We can t definitely do that swiftly. That this is medium class again. Wildcat, it's medium class. Uh, Olympus organization, medium class. Do you have any more of those? CLM? Light class. Okay, let's take these. And that should be sufficient for at least a few days. Um, so Saturday, we're gonna go CLM. CLM at 9 o'clock. CLM at like 1 o'clock. And CLM at like 5 o'clock. That should be fine. And then we'll take the other one. Maple. 9.30. And 1.30. And... Yeah, that should be fine. And then I go to Sunday. And we'll take this guy again. So 9.30. Just the same times. And we will have one more day to add. So let's go to Monday for now and put this in. We're done with Maple. Let's go back to Sunday. CLM. 9 o'clock. 1 o'clock and 17 and uh monday nine o'clock so we at least have some airplanes incoming now um so that's gonna help out let's move on because we need to uh yeah they're still they're still bucked i i don't know what's happening with those guys um but we at least have some some things coming in right now we should have we should see some staff pretty darn soon. I'm gonna hire um, 10 more constructors since we're gonna go for a medium part maybe. Um, and we're also gonna go for shops. Shops will be unlocked soon. Uh, so what we are gonna, gonna do is we're gonna make a shop area somewhere over here probably. An eating area. So we're gonna get, generate a lot of money because they rent that space. And that's gonna be our survival line because we're not making money anymore because small, small commercial flights do give money but they are, they're sort of break even with the staff, so we need a medium spot, but the medium spot costs a lot of money, costs extra staff, and then we have this problem of these planes not leaving and not paying money either. Because if they if these were these were just stationed here and they were paying money, I wouldn't care. That's that's not a problem, <laughs> but this is a problem. Uh, we have an email. Is that uh, no? That's just spam mail. So we have this is all set. Oh, they have they have Christmas hats on. Oh, maybe that's because I actually clicked on this one. Deploy send us little helpers. Yeah. Okay, that, that, that's actually pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be in the video. Although, uh, Merry Christmas to you guys. <laughs> it's still a few days off, but... Okay, when we will, will we see our first passengers coming in? It should be soon, since uh, we're almost at uh, 5 o'clock, which the first planes come in. So we have people coming in, right? Yeah, first people are coming in, they're gonna check in while well, they're gonna sit here first. You have a lot of bags, sir. Um, ma'am, I mean. <laughs> and there we're gonna see our first passengers. Checking in, going through security, getting over here. Yeah, okay, where is our flight? Where is our actual flight? Can we... Where's our flight? It isn't here yet. Right? 5 o'clock it will be here. Okay, well... So what we need to do is we need to wait for the shops. Uh, shop and food, that's really good. So we're gonna make that happen. And that will give us... Like, a, a huge amount of money. So this is gonna be a shop. This part is gonna be a shop. Why Why so big? Because this we're, no, we're never gonna sell a lot of stuff here. But, if you make a big shop, you can have a big contract in there. Um, these contracts need a specific amount of size. So if you have a big room, 
you can get the bigger contracts and that means you get can get they they as you look at the bottom they rent for a lot per hour so you can actually make money a lot of money by just renting out stuff so 3675 3668 Three, three, two, and just look at the, the star ratings. Those are the most expensive ones. So we're gonna go for this one. This is the most money. So we need 16 shop shells and one cashier desk. So I'm gonna pause the game for a while and just build that. Um, where is it? Shop counter. So let's bring in the shop counter. How is this working out? I think we need to do it like this, yeah. So this is the shop counter. Let's put it like here. And let's get some some shells and so we need 16 shells. Let's just do the basic shells We're gonna delete this shop at some point because this is gonna be baggage claim. So let's do like uh, one two whoops three four five six seven eight one two three four five six two, seven eight that's 16 in total that was what we needed so we can sign the contract and Yep yeah, from now on they're gonna pay money they're gonna pay us money to be here, although this is not even built yet. See, we have a we have an employee here, and they're gonna pay us money. They're gonna pay us rent. See, total revenue, they're already paying us rent. Although, they're not selling anything, they're, they don't have their items yet, so... The thing is, you have to put in the items, otherwise you can't accept the contract. So you have to sort of click on them, but you can't just put them in there and have no constructors. And they will not get built, but they will still pay money. Although you won't get money from the actual sales. Although this will not sell a lot, I guess. Um, so for now, we're going to also make a food area. Because they will definitely sell some stuff here. Um, so we could make a, like, like a nice food area over here. Uh, this is big enough for... Okay, we need to wait a little while for the, the contracts to generate. We could also make a smaller food area. Like in this corner for now. Food areas, they do sell quite good, uh, but the shops pay more rent. That's that's basically how it works. And as you can see, we're now making money. Just It's, it's just because of this shop for now. Uh, we, ha we have to put the zoning out because we don't need to see that right now. Um, so yeah, let's check this out. Sign a contract. Um, let's see. Petit bisou. It's big enough for this one. Uh, 3206. What is, why is this doing such a weird thing? I can't scroll without zooming in. That's, that's really weird. Okay, this is the this is the biggest one. So we need nine fridges and a cafe counter. Um, items, 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 items. So a cafe counter. We're gonna make this a, a nicer one. Um, which is this? So wait, this is situated like this. So this is gonna be the counter, I guess. And uh, let's go display fridge. So they changed the, the look of this quite a, quite a bit. Um, one, two, three, four. And let's go up like one, two, three, four. And let's have number nine in here. So this is the area where you actually get your food. You go, go and pay. And the, what, we, what we then do is we're gonna make them uh, decorations. We can have holiday festivities, decorations. What the heck is this? I didn't see this before. Let's just build some of these. I don't know what it is. Uh, we will see. Uh, we can have some plans, but first of all, we need some seating in here. So let's have a laptop table. Let's have some laptop tables. I think it needs to be put like this. Let's have three laptop tables so people can actually sit there and uh, do their thing. Let's sign the contract so we actually get the money. Sign. Um... And uh, let's continue on. So we have laptop tables now. We should have some, you know what? Let's put in some round tables here. So like, let's put in a round table like here and here and here and here and here and here. That should be sufficient for now. Um, let's go for chairs. Just, let's, let's just get some easy normal chairs in there. They don't have to be fancy. We can also make, we can always make this more fancy as we go on. Um, let's make some nice uh, seating area. So let's just make this into a huge seating area. And last ones. Okay, that looks awesome. Now we should do a trash can probably because people are gonna 
sit here. So let's have a trash can here. Let's have a trash can here. Uh, let's have plants. We need to make it a little bit prettier. So plants. A holiday tree, really? You know what? We're going to build one. Why not? Let's put it right there. Right there. And we're going to have some other plants. So let's have a, uh, a normal palm tree. Put it over here. Yeah. Uh, this is also a food part, so what we can do here is, let's see, can we have Swift Vag? That's probably the best one we can get. Bell Beer, okay, 720, 792. Okay, Swift Vag is the best one we can get. Um, whoops, what do we need for that? We need three fridges and the counter. Okay, we're not gonna put in all the seating area in here. This is just gonna be a quick shop where you get your stuff. Swift Veggies, I guess. <laughs> And uh, just uh, ignore the rest. Uh, you're not going to sit here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in the cafe counter over here. And we're going to just put in like one, two, three fridges. And people can get their stuff there. Uh, but this is just going to be a money maker for now. What we're doing now is trying to get enough money, enough income generating. So we can actually build a medium air stand. So we can get more income and then fix this problem. Because that's probably what we're going to happen. This needs to be repaired. Um... And uh, we have the, some people in here, which is awesome. Some people are actually in here. Oh, we have the Christmas tree. Oh, awesome. What's the decoration? What is this? Okay, that doesn't look really good, so we're gonna delete that. We're gonna delete that part because that's just that just looks terrible. But this is gonna be the episode. Next episode, we're gonna go for like probably a staff room and a bathroom area and all that kind of stuff while we're making money. Just building up the airport, getting the general facilities in and making sure that we can actually expand to medium air to medium air stand and get some more commercial flights in because that's really what we have to do at some point. And um, yeah, that that's that's what we're working towards. Hopefully I will find a way to fix the, the general aviation part and otherwise we're going to delete that and build a new one or maybe not even bother with it at all. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. So if you liked the video, leave a comment, leave a like. Let me know what you think of Airport CEO end of the series. And as always, I've been Hipbone. You've been yourself. Thanks for being awesome. Thanks for watching.